look at this very area again, although we have done it before, one that has to do with fractional index. Now, in that very discussion, in our previous class, we were having x power n over n, fractional power or fractional index. In this very one, I said that we can also have it in this very form, x power n, and then we have 1 over n outside. It means that 1 over n is also a power, n is a power. When you multiply this to power, you have n over n. Or we can also write it in this form, x power 1 over n. It means that 1 over n will be inside, that you see x is to it, and the n will be outside. We still must apply this to here, we still have the same thing, we still have the same thing. Okay, meaning we are able to have the x power n over n. Okay, now remember we look at this very one, 8 power 2 over 3, and I said for this one, for this very one, I said we can square that like 8 square power 1 over 3, or I will have it at 8 power 1 over 3, and I will have square outside. Remember I told you something like this. But I want to look at it in another different way. I don't want to solve it like this. I want to look at it in a different way. I want to look at it in a different way. Remember we have done this. Please don't forget. For this one, okay, let me still continue. For this one, I said we can as well take the uh, for this one here, a square power one over three, one over two can as well take the third root, the third root of eight square. And we said for this one we are going to have we are going to have um, uh, the the root of uh, 64. And the root of 64 means what you can multiply three times will give you 64 in the four. It means that the root of 64 is 4. And I also said for this one, we can we have it in this very form? And we have uh, uh, 8 power 1 by 3 square outside. I said we can take the third root of uh, of uh, 8 uh, the 8 of course and the square will be outside. The square will be outside. Now, what is the root of 8? If you mean what can you multiply 3 times to do 8 will be 2 because 2 square. And 2 square is 4. You see, we have a common result. And of course, we discussed this one in our uh, last uh, uh, class. Okay? But we want to look at it in a different way. We want to look at it in a different way. I don't want to apply this rule. I want to look at, look at this very one outside the rule, outside the law of indices. Let me not solve this one. There's a way I can solve this, and I will still have the same result. And that one is exceptional rule. We want to look at the exceptional rule. Meaning, we don't want to follow this rule. We want to look at the alternative. The alternative. Using the alternative rule or the exceptional rule, we have it. What do we have there? We have 8 power 2 over 3. 8 power 2. 8 power 2 over 3. Now, how can we write this very one? How can we write this very one? It means that for this one, I can as well see 8 power, I will have to introduce my bracket, the power will be outside, this power will be outside. For this one, I can reduce it, uh, reduce it to this very base. When I reduce it, it becomes 2, okay, to power 3. It means two, 2 power 3 will be 8, okay, I will have the power, remember I have another power outside, another power outside, and this one is Okay, 2 over power 2 over 3 outside. Now we now have 2 powers, we now have 2 powers. For this very one, I can say, for this one, I can say, okay, let me not explain it here. 2 power, I want to explain this very part here. 2 power 3, and we have 2 over 3 outside. It means that we have to multiply the powers. Remember, I told you to raise a power to a power, simply multiply. To raise a power to a power, simply multiply. Since we have power here, and there's another power which is fractional power, okay, I will have now we now have 2 power 3, okay, times 2 over 3. I will have to make this one over 1 so that at the end, when I multiply, okay, I can as well cancel out. When I cancel out, I'm left with 2, I'm now left, left with 2. There, look at this, 2 is now the one left. Okay, because 2 square, 2 square. 2 square is going to give me 4. Maybe for this very one here, I can as well see 2 power 3 times 1 over, okay, 2 over 3. For this one, we have 2 over 3, okay? It means that this 3 here, we can keep the 3 here. What will be left will be 2 square. And 2 square is 4. 2 square is 4. You see now, we are able to use the alternative rule or the exceptional rule to solve this very problem. 
Okay, either you apply the law on this case or you use the exceptional rule for this case or you use the alternative rule. Thank you very much for staying with me on the platform, JB Jumbo Online Mathematics. And you can as well subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mathematics Science Mega Tutorial. All the best.